Welcome back! Today on Dialed In DIY, we're gonna take a dig into some animated decorations or props to figure out ways to fix them when they're broken or modify them when you want them to do a little bit more. To demonstrate today, I'm gonna use this barking dog skeleton, which is both broken and something that I'd like to have work a little bit better. Just know that the working parts on the inside are very similar for a lot of different types of decorations, so you can apply this to your decorations as well. There are typically three things that I like to look for right away. This is one of them, loose or broken wires, broken pieces, and any signs that there have been overheating, which may be a component that has failed. Obviously the jaw's not gonna work with that broken piece, so I'm gonna have to fix that. But there's another important piece, because the loose wire is what allows power to get to the motor that runs the jaw. So I'm gonna have to fix both of those in order for the moving mouth part to work again. There's also kind of a third frustrating problem with this too. It's supposed to be sound activated, which means if there's a loud noise, it'll start barking. And that doesn't work consistently or that well. So I'm gonna look at that too. As an extra little tip here, if you look closely in a lot of these, you'll notice that there's hot glue over all the wire connections. And that's because a lot of these decorations are meant to be outside and might be exposed to moisture. So although I don't show it, it is good to go back and cover these up with some more hot glue once you have everything kind of laid out, fixed, and verified that it works. Yes, you read that right. We need to decapitate this little skeleton in order to get a better angle to work on fixing that little lever arm that makes the jaw work. Removing the head helped to stabilize everything to glue everything back together pretty well, but still doesn't give me a good enough angle, so we need to get a little bit more surgical here. You'll note that I'm taking this apart in order to glue the pieces back together, but an important thing to consider is with the pieces apart, once you have it glued, can you put all the pieces back together the way they need to go? This screw being able to remove from the arm makes sure that I can actually put everything back together and make it work once the glue has dried. Yeah, there are plenty of adhesives you can consider for putting this back together. However, I like the two-part epoxy approach, especially for plastics, decorations, toys, because unlike something like, say, super glue, it won't cause any discoloration on the surrounding plastic pieces. When this dries, I can take the excess, cut it off, sand it down, do whatever I need to do to clean it up a little bit more, and it will still hold really strong. All right, so while the glue is drying, it's a good opportunity to think about how we might want to modify this to work even better. If you've seen many of my past What's Inside videos, you'll know I love to add bigger and better speakers to things, and this is a perfect device to do that with as well. You could also replace the sound trigger with any other kind of switch that you might prefer for a particular device like this, and you could even rewire these to use one of those rechargeable battery packs that I've made in past videos because they work perfect with this too. With the glue solidly dry, I want to take a good moment to move the jaw just to make sure I didn't get glue where it wasn't supposed to go and all the parts move the way they're supposed to. And since everything works fine, I just reversed the process and remounted the motor back inside the skull so that I could test it out.
turns out that that little frustrating issue number three that I wanted to address was easy to take care of. If you've got one of these little sound triggers inside, it's a good idea to make sure that they are glued down and actually can't get blocked. Alright, now that we've proved that everything works, I think it's time that we give this angry little guy his body back, and then we can set him outside so he can protect the house. Hey, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY to check out my video. If you liked it, got something out of it, maybe learned something, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. I'd also really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel while you're here and make sure to ring the bell so you get future notifications. If you have ideas for how you'd like to see these modified further, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what you'd like to do with them. And as always, remember to come on back in the future because there'll be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.